My name is Officer Salas, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please hand me your permanent resident card and your ID, please? Thank you. Do you have any questions before I begin your interview? Uh, first of all, is everything up to date on your application? Um, who helped you fill out this application? Did somebody help you or did you do it yourself? Uh, tell me, uh, what are the requirements to become a U.S. citizen? Do you know what they are? Yes, what are they, if you can please tell me. Okay, when did you become a permanent resident? And where did you apply for your permanent residency? Okay, moving on, what is your complete name? And have you ever used any other names in the past? And what changes will you be making to your name? I'm sorry, give me one moment. Uh, my system is a little bit slow. If you can just repeat that, what changes will you be making to your name today? Okay, great. Um, what is your height and how much do you weigh? And I do need your full social. What is your full social security number? Where do you currently live? What is your phone number? Is this a cell phone number or is this your house number? Okay. How long have you lived at your current address? And where did you live before? Okay, and how long were you at that previous address? Um, what do you do for a living? What is the name of your employer? Yeah, the, the name of the place where you work. Can you tell me um, what are some of your job duties where you work? What are some of your responsibilities there? And how many years have you been at this job?
Greg. Thank you. Um, really quick, uh, who, who is your supervisor? What is your supervisor's name? Okay. How about in your country of origin? What did you do for work back in your country of origin? Okay. How many children do you have? And what are your children's names and their ages? Do your children live with you? Are they your biological children? Okay. And are all of your children US citizens? Okay, thank you. How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? What is your spouse's name? The first and last name, please. And how many years have you been married to your spouse? What is the citizenship status of your spouse? Thank you. Now I'm going to ask you a few questions about any trips you've taken out of the United States. When was the last date that you traveled out of the United States? And why did you take this trip? Where did you travel to? Okay, give me one second. I just need to verify something very quickly. ¿Qué tal cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. When did you come back from this trip? What are the total amount of days you have spent outside of the United States in the last five years? What are the total amount of times you have left the United States in the last five years? Can you please tell me why do you think you qualify to become a U.S. citizen?
I'm going to ask you 10 questions and you need to answer six of them correctly, okay? Okay, let's begin. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Who was president during World War I? What are two cabinet level positions? What happened at the Constitutional Convention? Name one state that borders Canada. Who did the United States fight during World War II? When is the last day you can send in your federal income tax forms? What is freedom of religion? Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Great. Give me one second before we proceed, okay? Okay, great. Now we're going to move on to the next part of the interview. This is going to be the reading and writing part of the interview, okay? Please take a look at the tablet in front of you. And on the screen, you're going to see a sentence. I need you to read that sentence out loud, okay? Thank you. Now, on the same tablet, Using your index finger, I want you to write down the following sentence. California has the most people. California has the most people. California has the most people. Give me one moment, okay? Great, you did very well. Congratulations. You passed the civics test and the reading and writing part of the interview. Now we're going to move on to the next part, okay? For this part of the interview, I'm going to ask you to simply answer yes or no to the following questions, okay? Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? And why is that? Why have you never voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? 
Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party, any totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? Can you please tell me what is communism? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933, and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany. For the next questions, I'm going to ask you a group of questions. I just need you to answer at the end of the question, okay? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, or insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prisoner jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person, or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Can you please tell me what arrested means? Okay. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? And what is cited? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, 
or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? What about back in your country of origin? Were you ever in jail or prison back in your country of origin? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? What is a habitual drunkard? Okay. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? And what is gambling? Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Do you know what deported means? What is deported? Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Okay. Give me one moment. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? And what is an oath of allegiance? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? 
If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, great. Give me one moment while I review some information, okay? Congratulations at this time. I'm going to go ahead and recommend your application as approved. The next step for you will be to look at the tablet here, and you're going to verify that all of the information is correct, okay? If everything is correct, you're going to sign and print your name. Now, there's going to be about three signatures that you're going to need to provide, okay? On the screen, there's going to be a pink button that you will click on to provide your signature, okay? If you can please uh, pay attention to the tablet while I pull up the information. Okay, if you can begin signing, please. Okay, one thing that you need to understand, although I will recommend your application as approved, is that you're not a U.S. citizen just yet. You will still need to go to your oath ceremony and take the oath of allegiance, okay? I'm going to provide you with a document which will give you some information about today's interview as well as the results of today's interview, okay? Please keep a lookout in your mail for the date, time, and place for your oath ceremony. That will be the last step for you to become a U.S. citizen. Again, congratulations. And do you have any questions for me before we end the interview? Okay, great. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.